All right, I know you guys have been super excited to see the renovation of Dirty Diana, and we've kind of focused on things on the inside just to get all the mold gone, but now on the outside, it's time we give her a facelift and make her all pretty, so we're painting her. Yay! Okay, so now comes the fun part of actually prepping everything. I have to make sure all the butyl tape's gone, all the caulking, everything if I want a really good paint job. Totally boring, but totally necessary. I've spent entirely too much time scraping this thing. But anyway, there is quite a bit of caulk here that I tried to scrape off, put mineral spirits on, all that. It is not budging, it's on there really good. So I'm gonna try a heat gun, hopefully this works. The heat gun is working, but this is really hot now. And I have to use a metal spatu or spatula <laughs> scraper rather than a plastic one, because that one was melting. <laughs> Wonderful tips from Hannah. Don't use plastic, it melts, duh. All right, let's do this. All right, fun fact, I used the wrong tip for the Dremel yesterday. Keith is home, can you tell? He told me which one I should have used, so let's try this again. Back to scraping and scrubbing and all of that to get that butyl tape off so we can prepare for paint. Ugh, I hate scraping. so nervous but the next step is going to be to bondo all of the holes in the camper um, Keith has told me that I can't mess it up the only thing I can do I mean if I do put a little too much on I can just sand it down easy breezy right I'm not so sure I'm very nervous so what I'm going to use um, he bought me some sandpaper to rough up all the edges or actually I'm sorry smooth out like where the holes are and then in the very back where we hit that branch, I'm gonna cut like all of the really rough edges and then sand it down. And for the bigger holes, I have this mesh fiberglass that I'm gonna put up and hopefully it'll help keep the Bondo in place. Um, and then I have this small plate. The biggest tip that I've gotten um, from Keith and from YouTube videos is to just do small amounts at a time when I mix the Bondo um, because it hardens very fast. So I'm really nervous, but oh man, you guys have totally come through with a lot of good advice on the comments and thank you so much for that. Please keep it coming. Again, I am new to this, so I would love any encouragement or advice um, to keep this project going. You guys have been awesome. All right, here goes nothing. Okay, mixing in the good stuff. And I was told to do just like a little strip I mean, that's good, right? I mean, this is looking pretty good, right? Okay, so this is my first time doing this, and um, it's already starting to solidify and getting real mushy, and I can't really work with it. I was able to get, like, this spot, this spot, and this spot, and then a couple small spots down the camper a little bit before it started to harden, so... 
I think next time I'm gonna be doing maybe like half a golf ball size and maybe just a little bit less of the hardener because um, when I first started working with it it actually wasn't bad um, it went on really well um, but after a while it just turned into like toothpaste like sticky toothpaste and I just couldn't work with it anymore so I I have a little glob left that I can't use um, but so far it's okay I'm really curious what it's gonna be like when it hardens you know is it gonna be easy to sand I don't know Okay, I'm in the camper and there are some big holes that I'm going to address and I just put the fiberglass mesh up and I trimmed up the holes a little bit so hopefully now we can address those holes and it'll seal up just nicely hopefully okay I am done with the Bondo and y'all that's no joke when they say you're gonna sand you're gonna sand a lot and so I have been sanding for Mm, three days solid so I think this probably turned out okay um, I'll show you a few close-ups of the areas that I sanded down multiple times so I put on a coat sanded it down put on another coat sanded 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 so it would have a nice smooth finish and hopefully once the paint gets on here you won't be able to tell but man I have to say, I'm kind of impressed with how well this turned out. I mean, I'm not saying I'm gonna go work at like some auto body shop, but it's a tool I have in my tool belt and maybe I'll put it on my resume, who knows? We're at Sherwin-Williams and we are gonna go inside and pick out some colors for our camper. So, I'm thinking about keeping that gold stripe like we talked about. I might touch it up if I can find like a good gold paint. Um, but I'm thinking like a light yellow on the bottom, maybe like a like a brown, like kind of like a burnt orange, like kind of color on the bottom. But and then stay with me here. I'm thinking maybe like a pink stripe. What do you think? what you want <laughs> I, okay it'll be fine but I'm thinking just like a light pink I I think it'll look nice it'll it'll give it kind of like a nice little accent to the yellow what do you think Maybe. Yeah. so what kind of pink you think a little light pink light pink all right we're gonna go inside and see what color combinations we can find What you got there? I have my vintage camper paint. It's going down. Okay, our next step is to clean the camper. And when I was in the Sherwin Williams store, they made it very clear that I needed to make sure that the metal is completely clean and that any type of film like that, uh, there was kind of like a dusting if you remember when I power washed the camper um, in one of my previous videos there was this dust and he said if I don't get that off it's oxidation on the metal then the direct to metal paint will not stick so what I'm gonna do is use this simple green um, it was recommended it's supposed to get the job done but he did say that if there's any kind of residue from the cleaner I have to get that off too so I'm going to clean with this the best I can and then pressure wash hopefully I will get everything off so let's get to it
Okay, so before y'all freak out that, oh my gosh, she is spraying water into the camper with no windows, oh my gosh. Okay, honestly, there's not a ton of water going in and I can show you here just kind of how wet it is. Again, once we get this sealed up, we are going to rip out the floor and make sure everything's good to go in there. But there is so much airflow that I'm not worried about it. We've actually gotten this camper wet a few times and of course the rain and I'm honestly not too worried about it. Um, there's lots of wind and it's dry out. It's not humid at all. Um, and we're actually gonna have a full week full of sun and no rain. So I'm not too worried about it. So hopefully it'll be just fine. <laughs> uh, so frustrating. Okay, so I have been working really hard at using that simple green spray and scrubbing everything down and using the power washer, thinking that would do something for the oxidation on the camper, and it is not. There is still a film on there. I mean, I don't know if you can see that white film on my fingers, but it is not coming off. So I researched it a little bit more and Somebody said just to use a micro cloth, uh, microfiber cloth with like warm water and just wipe, wipe it down, rinse it and keep doing that. And it'll, it'll take a little bit of elbow grease, but hopefully they said it'll come right off and that works better than a power washer. So let's give it a try. Okay, I have been scrubbing with this cloth and warm water. And I would say that it's definitely working. I mean, check out my water. I mean, it is like milk on one side and clear water on the other. So I have only used this side and this side I haven't touched yet. I just wanted to show you guys what the difference is and that I really think it's working. So I'm gonna keep going. Just doing a quick once over as I walk by just kind of looking to see if there's any more white spots I have scrubbed this thing twice now and all I have to say is by the time that I'm done renovating this camper I better see some like serious muscle because I have been scrubbing this camper like it seems like all day every day so I just wanted to walk around and I mean I might go ahead and give it one more wipe down before I tape everything off and move the camper but um, so we can paint but I just wanted to make sure all of that oxidation is gone so hopefully maybe just one more time wiping it down. <laughs> So a couple days ago, I got bit by a horsefly. I don't think I got it on video, but I'll check my video footage. But I was climbing down the ladder and I just happened to put my hand on the horsefly. It was just on the ladder, so I didn't realize what how bad my finger would swell up, but it is so swollen and my ring is like really tight, but I refuse to have my ring cut off. So I'm hoping that the swelling goes down. Um, I did research it a little bit and they said it would be about 48 hours when the swelling would peak. And then after that, it should go down. So the only thing that I found that would work besides, yeah, putting an ice pack on it, taking ibuprofen, things like that, um, is just to keep it moving. So I'm out here, I'm going to start taping some things off for the camper so I can start spraying soon because I'm dying to get this done. So I'm just going to keep going and hopefully the swelling will go down on its own. We'll see. just realized we have not moved the camper to paint it yet. Just covered this tire. I hope future Hannah does not have to cover these tires again. I hope this holds. I mean, I didn't tape anything to the tires, but I mean, seriously, it's just being held on by painter's tape. I mean, I hope it stays on. Camper is moved. 
and I have finished taping absolutely everything off so now we are ready to paint and I got some paint from Sherwin Williams and I will be using direct to metal and it we really caught a deal it was 40% off and normally it's $125 a gallon so we really scored on that with 40% off so we've never used a paint spray before and hopefully this goes well and fast just like all the other videos I've been watching. So let's get started. This is my project and he's taking over the fun part. The easy part. Yeah. Whatever. Whoever did this tape job did a horrible job. They need to be fired. Maybe that you could do something. Maybe you should do it. So lesson learned. It is a lot easier to prepare for paint and tape and all that for spraying when all the windows, all the utility covers are off, you go so much faster, so much easier. I highly recommend it. So, but I'm loving this color. It's looking so good. Here we are again. I didn't think I would find myself here with tape in my hand again, taping off everything. We went ahead and did a coat of the yellow and the white, and okay, here's my big mistake. Ugh. I thought after two days of it just drying that it would be okay in the rain. The yellow did fantastic, the white did not. Ugh. Check out these pictures of just how it bubbled and I, just anywhere the water hit it, it was just coming up, so I had to go through, sand it all again, and tape it all off. So today, Keith is working on getting the tarp put back up to prevent any overspray, and we're going to give this a second coat, and hopefully this will be it. I'm ready to get this done and move on to the next step. So we got the paint done and I have to say, uh, I'm not really feeling the brown. I feel like it is just too dark, too red, just not what I envisioned. So I don't know. I think I'm going to change that. I have an idea for the rock guard up front that I'm going to do this like wood um, kind of diamond pattern. It'll, it should look really cool to kind of mimic the gold stripe that we have going. but. I feel like once that's done, I might just pull a color from there and change out this bottom brown. It's just, I'm not feeling it, so I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and put the pink stripe on just to kind of see if it changes my mind, but for right now, it's looking like I might have to change it. Okay, the pink stripe is done and it looks beautiful. I absolutely love it. And the more and more I look at the camper, yes, I think I wanna switch out that brown at the bottom, but oh my gosh, such a transformation. And I absolutely love this camper. Can't wait to start moving in on the inside and getting it completely done. <sighs> 
Thanks for watching, guys.